The first trip on the Hyperloop capsule, cyborg cockroaches, flight suit from BMW, virtual participation in the launch of SpaceX Crew-1 for everyone, and other technology news. Hit the like button and let's go! The idea of futuristic vacuum transportation of the future, moving at incredible speeds on a magnetic cushion, will soon become a reality. Virgin Hyperloop first tested its XP2 Pegasus capsule with passengers on board. The length of the dev loop test route is 500 meters and the diameter of the vacuum pipeline is 3.3 meters. In total, the company conducted more than 400 tests with this track, reaching maximum speeds of 386 kilometers per hour. But in the first test with passengers on the board, the speed limit was 160 km per hour. In the future, theoretically, the speed of the full-size capsules for 23 passengers can reach more than 1,200 km per hour. Passengers noted that the trip was soft. The first commercial humanoid robot Digit came on sale. The robot was designed to deliver the last mile although it can also carry boxes in the office or warehouse. The price of Digit is $250,000. Deliveries to customers are already in full swing. Robotic System Labs has introduced a new multi-layer movement structure for four-legged robots. The engineers have developed a solution that simultaneously calculates both the immediate safe position for each leg and the long-term stability of the entire robot. Whereas most existing approaches only focus on one of these features. In order to combine them, it was necessary to impose restrictions on the safety of the legs in favor over that of stability. Skydio has opened a flight school for beginners on its YouTube channel. It teaches beginners how to handle the new Skydio 2 drone, considered to be one of the best smart and maneuverable drones in its class. Already, two lessons have been issued, establishing communication with the drone for its first flight, as well as launching and landing. In the video, Skydio 2 is called a flying robot, neither much nor little. Spanish company Quaternium Technologies broke its own record for the duration of the ATV flight. Its newest drone, Hybrid X, spent 10 hours and 14 minutes in air. The previous record was 8 hours and 10 minutes. A hybrid engine combining a lithium-ion battery with a 16-liter internal combustion engine as well as a highly efficient fuel injection system made it possible to achieve these figures. The last thing that could be imagined as an interface of the future are cockroach cyborgs. However, Japanese scientists have suggested exactly this. The engineers not only implanted these types of chips in the insects to control the direction of their movement, but also decided to combine them in a swarm to create an interface. Each cockroach was marked with a unique matrix barcode and installed a camera above them that tracks their location. Having this gives the ability to direct each cockroach to the right place. The scientists were able to build letters out of them, write on paper markers attached to insects, and force the cockroaches themselves to move small objects that can also be pixels in the overall image. BMW introduced an electric flight suit that helps to reach speeds of up to 300 km per hour. The suit was tested in the Alps, and the company's engineers created a device in the form of wings with a 20-horsepower propulsion system. The two 13-centimeter diameter impellers spin up to 25,000 rotations per minute, allowing the pilot to climb up until the device runs out of charge. The suit was designed for jumps at very high altitudes, so, after the impellers stop, the athlete simply starts to fall gradually. Burning 5G sources will soon be problematic as they are planned to be lifted into the stratosphere. For this purpose, two British companies are developing stratospheric drones. Drones with an active phased antenna on board will spin at an altitude of more than 18 kilometers for 9 days without landing, providing coverage area of 140 kilometers in diameter. The secret of the drone's endurance is an ultra-lightweight design and hydrogen propulsion system. The first tests, so far on a reduced version, were successful. Meanwhile in China, they have launched the first experimental satellite for 6G. 
Although the technology itself is still under development and is not commercially available, the satellite is the first technical test of the terahertz communication application in space. The technology is expected to be more than 100 times faster than 5G, enabling lossless data transmission in space. This will provide long-distance communication with lower output power. Walmart's large-scale experiment to deploy robots to analyze trading rows failed because people were more efficient, versatile, and inventive. The company tried to introduce robots Bosa Nova Startup, which could scan the shelves of the goods, checking the relevance of prices and the presence of products in the lining, into all of its stores. But at the same time, people still had to fix the found jams, and as a result, bringing the number of robots to half a thousand. Walmart completely shut down the experiment, and Bosa Nova had to downsize staff and look for new investors. The first Starlink users actively share their experience in the network. Although less than 10% of the satellite constellation is in orbit, users admitted that Starlink leaves far behind any existing satellite internet. The project already proves a data transmission channel with speeds of 60 to 90 megabits per upload and 10 to 20 megabits per upload with delays of only about 35 milliseconds. This is four times better than the most popular North American satellite operators can even offer today. Certain limitations can affect the performance. Things like antennas not perfectly located, it's bad weather, part of the sky is obstructed by fences, houses, or trees, and still, the data transmission channel performance did not drop below 46 megabits per second. The users also noticed a high-quality manufacturing of all the equipment. The plate, after installation on a tripod and turning a few minutes by itself, is looking for satellites and takes the most advantageous position. Rotation and tilt of the antenna are made automatically by means of servo drives. And in case of extreme cold weather or snowfall, there is a heating system. But there's still a chance to join the projects of Elon Musk. SpaceX is offering everyone to take part in their first joint flight of NASA and SpaceX to the International Space Station. It's true, but virtually. To do this, you need to download the astronaut's passport and subscribe to updates on the mission. The launch takes place on November 14th, and references to registration, start passport, and social network you can find down in the description of this video. Ghost Robotics continues to prepare its Vision 60 robot for military use. In the video, the part of the shot rod flies forward and the part equipped with its own parachute flies backwards to compensate for the recoil and not to unbalance the robot. By 2030, a quarter of the Great Britain Army will consist of robots. This was stated by the Commander-in-Chief of the Army, General Nick Carter. And according to him, robots would not only make up for the shortage in the British Army, but would also strengthen it. And at the same time, combat robot killers meet a strong response from the public and many scientists, as well as drones requiring qualified personnel to manage them. Because of this, it's most likely that the bulk of the robots in the British Army will have to be transport robots, robot scouts, and other unarmed vehicles. In Russia, St. Petersburg hosted a meeting of the Working Group on the Digital Transformation of the Russian Oil and Gas Industry. Participants considered priority projects of the industry in the field of artificial intelligence and possible measures of state support. The demand for robots in the oil and gas industry and related industries is expected to exceed 1 million units by 2030. An American startup with Russian roots, Arrival, will launch a micro factory in 2021 to produce electric cars for the courier companies in South Carolina. The company continues to develop the concept of rapidly scalable compact factories, which can quickly be placed anywhere in the world. Now the startup has an order from UPS to produce 10,000 electric vans. Strategic investors of Arrival are Hyundai Motors and Kia Motors. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it with friends on all your social platforms. And we promise you interesting new videos coming in the world of high tech.